This is hardcore Minecraft, and I could die right now because I'm jumping straight into an ancient city where there is a warden. <laughs> We found this at the end of last episode, and I have to explore it. Dude, this place is crazy. I forget how big these places are. I hear the warden somewhere. Oh, he's close. He's close. <laughs> Run away. I'm not really trying to fight this dude, but if I see him, I might have to. I hear the warden. I'm pretty sure this dude's on top of me. I'm scared. Where is he? Oh, he's on the other side of that wall. Oh, I saw his head peeking. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's coming. He's chasing me. Keep going. What's in the chest? Ooh. Dude, there's some good freaking stuff here. Okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm almost up three hearts. No, 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 no. Bro, I am so underpowered right now. I have to get out of here. I am being attacked. We need to go make an XP farm where I can make better armor and then come back and beat this guy. I know right now I have a lot of experience. 78 levels, but we're going to need a way more than this. I spent the next two days in Minecraft building this crazy mob farm that's gonna generate me so much experience. Let me tell you, this thing took so many resources to build, but in the end, it's gonna be worth it because it's gonna generate XP for us forever, as long as we don't die in hardcore Minecraft. We're going up to the farm right now because it is complete and we can just go in here and punch mobs and get a ton of experience, but also, of course, get their items as well, which is super, super nice. Is that a baby zombie? Oh, extra experience on that guy. The way we built this giant experience farm is very simple. It's just a giant container up there that funnels all the mobs into the middle. It's just like an old school one, but these always work super well. And it's an easy way just to generate experience. Three days later. I've been going at this for three days. Days, bro. I'm at level 91. Literally every second, there's just mobs dropping. This is great. It's definitely a tedious, patient process to get this much experience, but it's a lot better than going out in the woods. And plus, I'm perfectly safe, which is really what we need in hardcore Minecraft. Level 95 is good. I'll stop there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, level 95. Let's go. Okay, I'm done. The next step to making the most powerful items in Minecraft is making a paper farm so we can make books. The reason I need to make a paper farm is because when you use an enchanting table, your enchantments are random. You throw your item in there and you don't really know what you're gonna get. But with making an enchanting books, I know exactly the type of enchantments I can get and I can apply the best ones in the game to my items. To make an actual paper farm, it's actually super easy because it's literally just a sugar cane farm. So this is gonna be easy piece in the cake. Now we just need to stretch out the farm. Good thing about this paper sugar farm is it's fully automatic. You don't have to touch a single thing. You just go to the chest and grab your items. Boom, 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 boom. Connect all these with the good old redstone. You already know. This is legit one of the easiest farms. See, look at that. That's how it works. Whenever it grows, it just breaks it and it falls in and then boom, wada bing, wada bomb. The cool thing about this farm is you can make it as big as you want. So I think this is big enough for now, but if we need to make it bigger, we can. You definitely want to put some glass over it so you can see your fancy machine working. That, and I'm pretty sure sugarcane needs light. Maybe it doesn't need light. I don't know. Let's just find out. It's all an experiment if you think about it. It. After about two days, we got a st almost two stacks of sugar cane, bruh. That's a lot of books. It's time to make these books. Let's see if I remember how to do this. I think it's something. Yeah, that was easy. Forty books. Boy, I need some more paper. We're just gonna make as many books as we can. Let's go. Ooh, almost a stack and a half. That should be enough books. So now we need to enchant a ton of books, and we need to get the best books possible. Let's go ahead and grab this third one, I guess. What do we got? Just lure three, that's it? Okay, well, <laughs> you see how I'm gonna waste a lot of levels? Oh, I see a power three on this one. Hmm, I'm going for the power three. I already got power three on my bow, but it's good to have another one. Can maybe translate it into power five? This is protection three. Uh, we're definitely gonna take protection three. Uh, these suck. Every once in a while, you just get a bad one. Sharpness three, ooh. I'm going for sharpness, we could use some of that. I kept going, getting every single book that I had enchanted, eventually, until I got to level three. Boys, these are all my books. Believe it or not, I am on level three right now. I need to go back to the freaking XP farm. Hello, hello, I'm here to get some more levels. Let's go. 
All right, boys, we back. Finna cook up some books, if you know what I mean. Protection three already. Let's go. Oh, that's a good one. Let's go. Dude, I'm pretty sure I've seen every single enchantment like three times at least. After literal days of doing this, these are all the enchantment books I have. And I have some really good freaking stuff. I'm taking my best books. It's time to enchant the dragon armor. We got protection on that boy. Should we do another protection? protection this warden stands no chance there's no freaking way this armor is like stronger than netherite and we're putting multiple enchantments on it let's also do thorns as well on the helmet bro look at this ah, let's go ahead and try to test this armor also i got this grappling hook oh creeper come here oh wow that did that did nothing <laughs> literally did not even phase me look at this enchantment on this bow that is crazy like i don't really need fireworks anymore i can just shoot my bow it's like a grappling hook oh okay well sometimes maybe it doesn't work we gotta be a little careful with how we use this thing it's time to wreck this warden i'm gonna show him who's boss now i don't know where he is oh he's close oh he's close oh he's close i can smell him i can feel him he's right behind me oh he's right here hello take that my friend Oh, there's a second one! <laughs> I'm trying to get as many bow shots as this guy as I can because my bow, I think, is more powerful than my sword. Eat that golden apple. I'm so glad I have so many of these. Oh, oh, there he is. He's right through this hole. Wait, you think I can hit him through this hole? Oh, this is perfect. If I can just keep using my bow to shoot him through this hole, although he's destroying me through this wall, I'm pretty sure both of the wardens are through this hole. So I can't smack him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting really smart here. Oh, ow, bro. Smack that boy. Smack that boy. Smack that boy. Yeah. Hello, my friend. I'm up here now. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Peek oh, KO. Oh, I did it. Get the other one. Come on. He's got to be low. This is it. This is it. I'm going to I'm gonna die. I'm going to die if I don't get. I got his heart. I got his freaking heart, boys. Oh, my gosh. I did it. And it's all thanks to this armor. It's time to put the heart of the warden in the secret treasure room. Let's go. This is exciting. It's another addition we can add to the room. We got the heart of the deep. We can also put some of the other things that we found in there and here as well, like some of the shards and then the warden. Yes, that's nice. Beautiful. I'm thinking the wardens are really cool, but what if we could bring one to the surface? Bad idea? Great idea? I've never seen a warden at the surface. You've only seen them in the underworld. I spent the next three hours digging a tunnel from the ancient city all the way to my house so I could bring a warden home. This is about where my house is. So I'm gonna start digging up to get back to the surface. And I'm gonna need to make a little bit of an elevator to get the warden all the way to the top. The way it works is we're gonna fill it with water, put soul sand in the bottom, and it's going to rise whatever gets in the water. I made it to the top. I'm pretty close to my house. I'm not literally in the backyard, but that's okay. Pretty much done with the elevator. That is one that is going to pull us down. And then this elevator shoots us up with the soul sand. It doesn't drowned you or anything and boom we're all the way to the surface and then this one brings you all the way back down since this is a really long tunnel might as well make an entire rail system going all the way to the ancient city because walking there that just takes too long it's all about transportation right last couple rails this is the last one and we're here in the ancient city boys now we just gotta find a warden <laughs> Oh, I think there's one behind me. Oh, hello, my friend. Come on. Follow me in the mysterious tunnel. Hopefully you don't kill me on the way to our house. This is honestly the scariest thing ever. This dude chasing me down this tunnel. Oh, there's a creeper. Oh, oh, keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. I didn't really put like a safety exit or anything on this. So <laughs> hopefully we don't die. It's only like 500 blocks long. It's not that bad. Dude, look how long this freaking tunnel is. I can't believe I built this. Y'all better leave a thumbs up on this video. I've been playing Minecraft for the past 12 hours. This is much easier. He's still chasing me, I think. Come on, my friend. Let's go. Oh, no. Go the other way. Go the other way. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. We're pretty much to the end here. Now I need to figure out how to get the warden in the water. Come up to your prize. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please don't kill me. That's a creeper. Oh, there he goes up the elevator. <laughs> Well, at least I know the elevator works. Come on with your big head. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What if I go in the elevator and he just follows me up? Oh, oh, oh. Dude, wait, did he come up? 
Wait, what? How did he beat me up here? I'm kind of scared and I don't know what to do now, but I got the warden. I got a little bit of an idea, Mr. Warden. I want you to follow me. I'm going to put you in the lighthouse, okay? I think that would be a good spot for you. So if you could just come up here, that'd be nice. Oh, yes. That's a good, good boy. Stay right there, please. Oh my gosh. I can't get him in this freaking lighthouse. Just stay right there, please. Thank you. No! Dang it! I gotta do this quick. Oh my gosh. I'm not good at- Oh, I did it! I did it! I did it! <laughs> okay. What do I do now? I think if I built a home for him, or maybe more of like a gel cell, I think he would like it a lot more. I'm gonna start leveling out all this ground over here. We're gonna build it next to the giant pig, and this is gonna be the warden's home. And every day, we're gonna come look at him, and we're gonna give him a piece of fish. I'm in the city, collecting some resources to build the house, because I want the warden to feel like he's at home. Because it will be his home and he's not leaving. I hope I have enough resources because I'm not going back down there. Don't worry. This dude is about to live like a freaking king. I spent the next hour using all the resources that I collected building this warden fortress. As I kept building this, I got more and more excited because this was low-key gonna be better than my own house. And bonjour, it's done. That took way too long, but it looks cool. And also the ground over here like blends with it. So it all just looks so sick. Now it's time to bring over Mr. Grumpy Pants into his new home. Hey, Mr. Grumpy, come here. All right, we're gonna make this really nice. All right, so you come in here. Oh, oh, my two hearts. Okay, eat the golden apple. Eat the golden apple, it's bakeable. Eat it, eat it, eat it. We got Mr. Warden in his new home. He looks so happy in there. Don't you just so happy? Ow! Yeah, he can stay in there. I can't believe I took all this time to bring the entire ancient city up near my house. Leave a like for what I should build next episode.